you say it's uh, more j just about surfing the surface. Because the Hui is fit water fishermen, lifeguards, um, just a lot of Hawaiians that you know recognize that the ocean is our resource. Right. We gotta we gotta maintain it for our children. You know, keep it clean, keep the beaches clean, and keep it safe too. You know, that's what the movie was all about, wasn't it? Yeah. Just trying to. Well, the movie, uh, the movie never do them no justice. Blue crush. <laughs> yeah, I didn't eat North Shore either. Yeah. Yeah, the movie is never gonna be. You know, it's never gonna end. Yeah. It's, it's the movie is just. It's just bigger, I think. The hui is, is different. It, it's more encompassing, you know what I mean? Uh, Wolfpack is, is, is like a club too, but it's more just hardcore surfers, you know? And, uh, just, it's just the future of surfing, you might say. Whereas the hui is the old school, the new school. It's just more big. It's, it involves all the water, you know? Whereas the Wolfpack is just more focusing mainly on the surface you know see what it is is people it's such a small place this North Shore is only eight miles and so much people want to be a pro surfer and they all come here thinking they're gonna take over and they're gonna just go off you know and, and maybe they have a bad situation or, or they encounter a bad incident you know but what, what happens is they go home and they say, oh, yeah, you know, I'll surf the pipe, and the guy just punched my face. Just kicked my ass, yeah. you know what I mean? I'd rather not go back and say, oh, you know, yeah, I was uh, dropped in on this uh, one of the younger local boys over there, you know, and kicked, cut him off, told him F you, and yeah. beat it. He never told him, he never said about that, and that's why the older local guy came in and punch him out. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't say the stuff that they do. They just go back and tell all these stories about yeah. us. These other people, I don't know, man. The Brazil, at the same time, I cannot blame the Brazilian because they got a hard life, bro. Where they come from, it's so bad. Down there, it's like you're either rich or you're poor. There's no middle class over yeah. there, so you don't get ahead if you're not aggressive. So I, I can understand too, but that's one place I haven't gone yet because plenty of guys like they like they like go, and I'm older already. I don't like. They can, all right, they like go, they can come over here. House. They, they say it's a crazy party house and, you know, all kinds of stuff going down over there. If you go over to the Balkan House in the wintertime, your kids running around, you know what I mean? The, the barbecue grill is going, uh, you know, we don't let underage girls inside there. Underage people drink around there. There's, there's no wild parties. The only time you get parties is if somebody wins a contest. It just so happens that it's always one of our boys that wins the contest, you know, because we got the, the best surfers in the in the world are in the wolf pack, you know. We didn't even name ourselves that. People just started calling us the pack, the pack, a pack of wolves, the wolf pack, you know. And, and at first I was like, wow, these guys think we're like animals or something. But, you know, if you look at a, a wolf pack, hey, they don't go out and cause trouble. They're yeah. just trying to protect their young, yeah. protect each other. You know what I mean? Protect their territory. That's it. That's all the wolves do. They don't go around killing for no reason. They they, they eat, they, they, they survive, they, they look out for one another. And I guess that means nothing. You know, since I see so much money in this sport and I saw so much you know, so much times people drop that name. I trademarked it. I got a lawyer and I trademarked the name, you know, I wanna make some money, you know. So and for some reason, you know, you know that 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 bad boy image, man. It's popular. You know, I mean, and, and so the way I see it now is, you know, we we did some things in the past, but right now I just want to maintain integrity. The integrity to me is the most important part because you cannot just go out and make trouble to somebody because they're white or because they're not from here. They're giving Hawaiians a bad name. Uh, like, I'll be the first one to, to tell my brothers, you know, if they go out and start trouble, and there's no trouble, and everybody's getting along, why are you gonna, why are you gonna rock the boat, you know, yeah. if everybody's, hey, these, what my, some of my friends forget is that these kids that come from the other countries, they get parents that love them too, you know what I mean, they got a right to survive, they got a right to go surf, we don't own this water, but, you know, all we like is respect, 
when these people come over here, give us some respect. Respect the land, respect the people, respect the kids. You know what I mean? Don't drive crazy. Don't pick, you know, don't pick on younger kids. And, and uh, that's all, you know. People, they hear all kind of negative stuff about us, but... One of the reasons why I created the company is because I want to, like if I can, one day I want to pay all the local boys that, that put their lives on the line. I want to try, try to pay a lot of those guys to be on my team because a lot, a lot of them aren't making money because they, they don't get the exposure. They don't surf California or, you know, all these small ways, but they put their lives on the line over here. And that's one of the main reasons. I started my company because I want to like I want to be the company that docks the local underdogs, the like local boys that you know just go out and charge. And that's all they like do. They don't like traveling anymore. Well. They just like surf pipeline. And that's my my in my book. That's a that's a real surfer right there. I could care less about all the aerials and all that stuff. You know what I mean? A big barrel is the is the meanest like, is the meanest drill to me. If you think about it. Like basketball players, they make their money, their salaries are a proportion in proportion to the amount of money the industry makes, right? And for a while, surfers were making the money in proportion to what the industry was making as a whole, right? So finally, it's catching up, and now they're making money because it, the surf industry is a billion-dollar industry, you know. Back end of it, I'm the team captain for the Hui too, so for the surf team. And we, we got a we got a pretty solid team, man. We got a, we got a Miles Padaka, Sonny Garcia, Mark, young boy Marcus Hickman. Um, got a couple of West Side boys, young boys that are coming up. Definitely got a good team. We got to get some more Holly boys from the mainland on our team, you know. Eddie no like, but we have to, cause we have to represent. Right. People, you know. They don't show the world that, yeah. you know, you're not discriminating. Yeah, we're not discriminating. And, and, and you like all the white boys buy our shirts, yeah. right? In the mainland, yeah. you got to have some of the white boys being on the yeah. team, right? I mean, it's a new world, man. We all got to get along. I'm doing shirts and hats out of Haleiwa, but uh, what I'm looking for is a licensee. And I got like three or four different groups that are, have approached me. And... I'm just looking, I'm trying to sift through the, the, the people, you know, because what I want to do is, I want to have somebody like Eddie, what he does is he has licensees all around the world that pay him to use his logo. Right. So he don't do nothing. Right. All he does is say, okay, yeah, I like that one. Right. One design. Okay, I approved that one. Ah, I don't like that one. That's it. You know what I mean? That's where I want to be. I want to be kicking back, collecting some checks, <laughs> and just being in charge of the creative part of it. Right. Where I, but I don't have to spend no money. You know, that's what a licensee does, is they come in, they pay for all the manufacturing, the, the advertising, the marketing, all that. And basically, they're just using what you created with your whole life. Like, my, my whole life is culminated in this this thing right here. This is a big opportunity for us, you know. And, uh, well if somebody wants to pay to use it, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that, you know. Okay, a movie out coming out. We got a we got a movie coming out. Uh, it's it's uh it's called the Wolf Pack, as told by the Wolf Pack. What is the Wolf Pack? As told by the Wolf Pack. You know what I mean? Because so many people do surf movies. Yeah. About Hawaii, they're yeah. not even from Hawaii. Right. It's California, yeah, Australia. Yeah. You know, so we try to make a movie about the locals, by the locals. You know what I mean? So it's like a documentary surf movie. It's just like. Telling people what we're really about, you know what I mean, what we really try to be. All we want to do is make it in life and be successful. Yeah. We're not out here to terrorize people, gang. Okay? This, this ain't LA, this ain't Compton, you know what I mean? This is Hawaii, man. Yeah. We gotta like, try to maintain the Aloha spirit, you know? But that's true, man. The problem is, man, we're so much more... Our focus is so much more on respect and family and stuff. You see, our families are, you know, may have some problems here and there, but generally our families more cohesive, yeah? more, more, more working together and, you know, yeah, yeah. eat dinner together, yeah. talking story, yeah. you know. So, yeah, I wouldn't live, you know what, I wouldn't live anywhere else in the world, bro. I've been to the Bahamas, I've been, it's like, this place is the best place in the world right yeah. here. I mean. Your roots are here. I know you don't live here anymore, but you always come back whenever you like.